If you're struggling to put together outfits, it's most likely because you're missing some key foundation pieces. But don't worry, I'm gonna share what pieces you need, and I mean you. Hi, I'm Leonie, and welcome to my channel. Now, I was inspired to make this video by the lovely Erin Busby over at Busby Style. She created a video very similar recently, and it got me thinking about core essential pieces that we all need and the difficult thing about this is that those pieces are going to look different for all of us. When it comes to wardrobe essentials, there really is no one size that fits all. So there's no point saying that everyone needs a blazer in their wardrobe because if that's not your style or that doesn't suit your lifestyle and you just don't have anywhere to wear that look, then a basic classic blazer is not going to be a wardrobe essential for you. So today I'm trying to make sure that I cover off what is going to be right for everyone. Now the other thing that I have done is I've created a little bit of a closet essentials checklist just to simplify it and to also just get your thought processes rolling. It's a little bit of a thought starter just to help you have a better look at the pieces that you already own and see if there are any holes and any gaps that potentially need to be filled. What I do find is that if you fill some of these gaps then creating outfits just gets a whole lot easier. And generally speaking when you are missing some of these core essential pieces that are right for your style then it becomes incredibly tricky to create lots of different outfits from the same pieces. So I've broken I've broken today's video down into six different areas, so essentially bottoms, tops, outerwear, dresses, accessories and shoes. That's just to make it a little bit easier. A small portion of today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace, but I will tell you more about them shortly. But for now, let's start going through these core essentials. Right now, I always like to start with bottoms because for me personally, I like to build my outfits from the bottom up. Now, this may seem a little counterintuitive to some of you, but I find it really easy to decide what I want to wear in a day starting from my bottoms. So whether I want to wear pants, jeans, trousers or a skirt or shorts, whatever it is, the bottom half of my outfit really sets the tone for the day and for that starting place to build a complete outfit from. So I always like to start from the bottom up, but you can do whatever works for you. Now I'd almost go as far as saying that everyone needs a a good pair of denim jeans in their wardrobe. Now, this is going to look different for everyone. I think with all of these pieces that I'm talking about today, they're not trend focused pieces. We are not following trends here. We're looking at building our wardrobe with core basic pieces that not only stand the test of time, but we can keep putting together modern trend focused outfits with these pieces at the core of that outfit. So we're not thinking trends here, we're talking and thinking about pieces that are timeless. So when it comes to denim jeans, the only idea is if you if you are not a jeans fan, you don't ever see yourself wearing jeans, then hey, they're not ever going to be right for you. But what I do say is that a great pair of denim jeans that fit you well and make you feel good when you wear them are a wardrobe essential. Now it's important not to get too hung up on trends when it comes to denim jeans because at the end of the day, all jeans are pretty much available all of the time and it makes sense for you to pick a pair and wear jeans that actually make you feel amazing. So skinny jeans might be your thing and that is great. You will know how to work them into your wardrobe, pair something a little bit more oversized with them just to sort of balance out the skinniness of the jean. Whatever it may be, I do think a good pair of denim jeans is a wardrobe essential. They are perfect for dressing up, wearing more casually and and for that reason, I do think that a great pair of denim jeans can take you anywhere. I also like to break up my wardrobe staples into everyday pieces and also sort of smart casual pieces. Now that is what suits my lifestyle. If you work in an office, then you would need to add an extra an extra focus on your essentials, which would be workwear. And of course, workwear is going to depend on whether you work in a corporate sort of environment or whether you work in more of a creative environment. So everyone's workwear 
wardrobe is going to look and feel different. Now what I like to do when it comes to testing whether I have enough basics is I like to set myself a little bit of a challenge where I go into my wardrobe and try and pick out three outfits really fast that I know that I can put together wear and feel amazing in. And those three outfits would be three workwear outfits, three smart casual outfits and three just relaxing at home everyday outfits. Now if I can't put together three really cool outfits really fast without even thinking then it's kind of a bit of an indication to me that I haven't got my basics covered off. So give that a go yourself. It's going to be a real eye-opener and it'll give you a chance to see whether you do in fact have some holes that need to be filled in a particular area. So when it comes to bottoms and in particular smart casual for me I have a couple of great pairs of jeans. I've also got some really lovely tailored trousers because I know that I can pair them with a great t-shirt or a sweater like I'm wearing today and create a smart casual look. I also have a couple of skirts, a few maxi skirts, a few beautiful maxi pleated skirts that I consider smart casual because again they can easily be dressed up and worn more casually. So it's about identifying what those pieces are for you. We all need skirts unless you are completely against skirts. If you like wearing skirts, we need a couple in our lineup that are going to be really easy to just grab and wear. And these also need to be merchandised front and centre. These core pieces are often not the most fun to look at in our wardrobe, but they do need to be brought forward because they are the piece that you take out of your wardrobe first when you're putting together an outfit. For my everyday pants, I love wearing cargo pants and I like also wearing sweatpants and leggings. So I have a few different options there that if someone comes to the door and I still want to look and feel good, but I also want to be relaxed. So I've got some options there that I consider are my basics and yeah, as I said, they're not trend focused pieces, but they're pieces that I can wear and feel great in. So have a little think about these pieces and also, don't forget to download my checklist. As I mentioned earlier, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below so you can go and check out that and tick a few boxes and see if there are some of these areas in your wardrobe that are a little bit lacking or you haven't got a couple of those key pieces. It really is sometimes as simple as updating one or two of those essentials and then you open yourself up to tons more outfit options. Anyway, at this point, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Now, my blog is a Squarespace website, and that reminds me, if you do want to download that checklist, I'll leave that link in the description box below, the Closet Essentials Checklist, and that is housed on my Squarespace blog. So you can whip on over, download that checklist, and have a little look at the blog at the same time. Now, Squarespace is, in my opinion, the easiest way to build Build any sort of online presence. So if, for instance, in 2023 you have plans to sell something or you would also like to get online, then I would hand on heart recommend Squarespace as the easiest way to doing it. You don't need to have any technical expertise. It is very easy to follow and easy to create a very beautiful professional looking website. So what I suggest you do is head to squarespace.com and take advantage of their free trial. Then use my unique URL which is squarespace.com forward slash the style insider and my code the style insider and that will save you 10% off your first website or domain. I will leave a link in the description box below to make it easy for you. Next up we're going to look at tops and again these are going to look different for everyone but for me I love wearing t-shirts, I love wearing logo tees so I need to have a, a complement of classic basic black white grey mile tees. I also like to have as I'm sure you've seen me wearing here on the channel some logo style tees. I've got a couple of Anina Bing tees. Um, also, I like to wear button-down shirts, and I know that you would have seen me wearing them a lot lately. In my opinion, these are absolute wardrobe essentials. If I had to list my number one wardrobe essential, it would be a couple of button-down shirts. 
because you can wear them so many different ways. Obviously you can just wear them tucked in and more sort of corporate looking. You can wear them oversized, you can wear them unbuttoned so that they are an extra layer. You can wear them tied and teamed with skirts. There are so many options to wear them. So they work for my lifestyle. They may not necessarily work for your lifestyle and your personal style. So what is your equivalent? Is it a pretty feminine floaty blouse or is it a more fitted bodysuit type piece? Think about what that piece looks like for you and what you like wearing and see if you have enough of those basics. I also like to think about having a couple of what I call going out tops and these are blouses and shirts and tops that essentially are a little bit more fashion forward and make a little bit more of a fashion statement and these going out tops I can team back with jeans or shorts or skirts but they're there so that I can grab them if I feel like I just need to look a little bit more pulled together or just a little bit more polished. So going out tops are a great option to have so see if you've got a couple of those pieces that haven't seen better days that you know that you can pull out and you are immediately going to look sophisticated and modern and just look and feel fab. As I said, basic sweaters are really important as well. I particularly like roll neck sweaters and I have got quite a few chunky knits as well, which I absolutely love. I recently purchased a beautiful Jenny Kane cashmere, 100% cashmere hoodie sweater, which I absolutely love. So have you got enough of those pieces? Now, what I find with investing in a little bit more quality in some of those sweaters especially is that they are pieces that you can wear a little more dressed up as well. So I could team one of my cashmere sweaters with some tailored trousers for a little bit more of a smart casual look, but I could also pair them back with some denim jeans and some trainers for a casual look. So some of those key pieces are really helpful as well. What I also personally love in the way of tops is beautiful sweatshirts and I do wear them quite a bit on my channel here. I love fun, colorful and interesting sweatshirts with a design or logo. I recently purchased this Anina Bing sweatshirt and I absolutely love it. Even though I do get comments on the fact that the model is, is smoking a cigarette, hey, that's just a, a period in time. I'm not trying to promote smoking here by wearing that and that's what I sometimes get accused of but these sweatshirts are a really easy piece for me to throw on and feel just a little bit zhuzhed. So think about what your tops are, where you're lacking. If you need a little bit of inspiration, whip onto Pinterest, have a little look and see what some of your sort of style muses are wearing, what you like, and if you actually own enough of these pieces to pull together an outfit in a hurry. And as I said, you could always give yourself that test, whether you could race into your wardrobe, pull together three smart casual outfits and feel great. If you're struggling, you probably haven't got enough basics. Now when it comes to outerwear, again, this is very personal and it also depends on where you live, your climate, your lifestyle. There are so many factors that come into talking about classic wardrobe essentials that everyone needs. So thinking about for instance, my lifestyle, I always have a couple of denim jackets in my repertoire. I recently bought this Anina Bing slightly oversized denim jacket. I know that it's always going to work for me. And I do have a number of just classic style denim jackets. Again, I love the color of denim jackets. And I love the fact that I can team them with some of my maxi skirts and various pieces just to create a look that works for me. Other great outerwear to think of is coats. And I'm sure if you're living in a cold climate, you're going to have your full repertoire of coats. But just have a little look and see if your coats are needing an update. Have they seen better days? Could you upgrade your coats with a slightly more modern color? Would you look at say perhaps swapping out a black coat? And when I say swapping out, I don't mean getting rid of that black coat. It's a classic, it's a staple, hang on to it. But would you think about or consider a slightly different shade, whether it's a navy or a beige or a, a taupe kind of neutrally color? Think about how you could update or upgrade some of those classic pieces 
to expand on some of your outfit options. And as I said earlier, blazers are not going to be for everyone. They're not going to suit everyone's lifestyle. But you might be more into, say, a bomber style jacket or even an anorak, which is a timeless classic jacket. And it's a great way of just adding a slightly longer layer as well. So have a look at those outerwear pieces and check out my checklist. As I said, I'll link it in the description box below, but think about some of those core essentials and do you have enough to complete an outfit? Outerwear is really key because it does add that finishing touch to an outfit. And if you don't have that final piece of the outfit that you put on and it just makes you feel pulled together, then your outerwear may just be lacking. So identify what your core essential pieces look like. Have a look and see if you've got enough of them or if they need updating. When it comes to shoes and essentials, I think it's always helpful to look at the trends. Like anything, it's always nice to be guided by the trends but not dictated by the trends. Again, you need to look at your lifestyle. For me, trainers is where it's at and I have been a huge sneaker slash trainer wearer for a number of years now. I love the comfort. I love that sort of relaxed urban sort of street style look. So it works for me and it works for my lifestyle. Do you say work in a corporate office where you have to wear something that just conforms a little bit more to that environment? So what are your what are your basics there? Are they a little ankle booty? Is it a knee height, flat riding style boot? What are those basics that are going to help you pull together some cohesive outfits that are always going to look great? Now think about these basic footwear pieces as not trend focused. So you don't want anything that's say too pointy at the toe or too squared off at the toe. You want to opt for a middle of the road kind of style. And then essentially it's never going to date and it will work back with a lot of the pieces that you already own. So think about that when it comes to footwear. Dresses are an absolute must for me. And over the last probably five years, I've got more and more into wearing dresses. But if I had to identify one dress that is an absolute essential for me and I do have a couple of them and that is slip dresses. Now when I talk about slip dresses on my channel I do hear a lot of you saying that you don't like exposing your arms or a slip dress is just too body hugging for you but there's all different types of slip dresses and I regularly wear mine with my favorite t-shirts underneath, with my polos underneath I particularly love slip dresses for that reason. They are trans-seasonal and they are also timeless. They are not going to date and the slip dresses that I particularly love the most and that I get the most wear out of are maxis for me. But that is me. If you're petite, you might opt for a slip dress that is just, it falls just below your knee. That may be a little more flattering for your, for your figure. I've also got some really feminine floaty maxi dresses as well, which a couple of years ago I would not have imagined wearing because my style is just a little bit more structured normally. But certainly in summer, I love wearing some of those floaty maxi dresses because they're cool, they're comfortable, and they just give me that sort of beachy vibe. They're also one and done. A dress is not having to think about putting together an outfit. It is just such an easy way to get dressed in the morning, which is why I'm a very big fan of dresses. So think about whether you have a dress in your lineup that is going to make it super easy to get dressed and one like a slip dress that is trans-seasonal as well. Now, when it comes to accessories, there really is no one size fits all. And for instance, sunglasses, Sunglasses change all the time. The shape, the frames, you name it. For me, I know what suits me, I know what I love, and I generally stick to a classic pair of frames. For instance, these are my go-to frames. They're not always on trend or in fashion as such, but they work for me, so they are one of my wardrobe essentials. And the great thing about accessories is that sometimes you can add a couple of accessories and they will instantly update some of the outfits that you may have been wearing for a long time. And they will also just give some of those outfits a little bit of something extra. And sometimes adding a belt or a different necklace or 
a scarf, for instance, will just give a slightly different look and feel to a piece that you've loved for years. So accessories can be a really easy way to update an outfit, but again, be really careful when it comes to essentials. Make sure you opt for something that is going to be a little bit more timeless and classic. For instance, like my sunglasses, they are never really going to date. Yes, there will be other trends, but I know this particular style suits me, so I'll continue to buy them and wear them. Also when it comes to accessories I think a great purse or bag is great and I've been talking in some recent videos about the latest trend in bags and that is for super sized bags. Now that comes on the back of little mini purses that were trending before that so that kind of gives you an idea that fashion does go from one extreme to another. So when we're talking basics, we need to think about those pieces that service, work for our lifestyle and our outfits, but are also going to last the, di the distance and stand that test of time as well, regardless of what is trending.